March 2017, when I was seven, my dad and I recorded a review of a game I really liked, Fields of Green, without any expectations. Just for fun, really, because I love talking about games to family and friends. On my mom's suggestion, we made a quick introduction and popped it on YouTube. In other words, The Cardboard Kid was born March 8, 2017. It's been quite a journey over the past few years. It's always interesting to look back and see how one changes, and I've changed quite a bit. My voice was so little. One thing hasn't changed is the love and support I've been given even during those slow periods, especially when I was sick last year. I'm thankful for you all, not just for subscribing and following, but for helping me grow as well. I've improved my social skills meeting and talking with you and writing my scripts with dad's help to best share my thoughts to you all and my confidence on camera. Nearly all my reviews include a story from one of our sessions, but my favorite moments have been interacting with fans and friends, becoming friends with the girls game shelf crew at Dice Tower West, reconnecting with Dave Chapman from the Rahul.ca, meeting the incredible semi-co-op at Essen, and so many more. I'm very thankful to have you all alongside me and look forward to meeting more of you once the world slowly gets back to normal. Until then, I thought, what better way to give back to the community than a giveaway? So here we are, five years and five great bundles to show my appreciation. Each one of these have a special connection with me. Grey Eminence is a political game. As I've been getting older and learning about this sort of thing at school, this is even more important. The bidding and voting elements from this pretty unknown game help keep players interested. It's Year of Chaos expansion adds even more cards. I'm a bit weird with solo games. I'd rather play with people, so if it's just me, I like there being a narrative pulling me along instead of just mechanisms. All the Sherlock Holmes graphic novel adventures does that in comic book form. How cool is that? And if you want to play with others, the Crusoe crew and Baker Street regulars have got you covered. Paranormal detectives didn't seem to get a lot of buzz, which is weird seeing how popular party games tend to be. This seduction game is a group of people trying to get information out of the ghost to find out how they died using some really unique methods. Maybe it had a bit of bad luck coming out right before the world shut down. Now's your chance to give it a shot. I love to draw, and Pictomania's scoring system adds something missing from a lot of drawing tabletop games. The prompts are fun, and some of the hard ones can be learning opportunities for younger players or those new to English. It's a good time, and also tied to a cool memory for me, leading Vladia Hivatel at Essen 2019 and having him signed by copy. Even if board gamers don't recognize Beth Sobel by name, you've probably seen one of the 100 games or so that she's illustrated, Calico, Cold Water Crown, and Herbaceous, to name a few. She's recently kickstarted a playing card deck, River and Stone, and it's pretty much the best looking deck ever. Huge thanks to Beth Sobel, Czech Games Edition, Dragon Dawn Productions, Lucky Duck Games, and Van Ryder Games for providing leads for my giveaway. I can't wait for others to enjoy these games as much as I have. All you need to do is retweet this video. Quote retweeting works too. In a week, I'll randomly draw five winners and contact you to arrange delivery. Due to world shipping situations, this is unfortunately limited in North America and Europe, but maybe we can work something out for people everywhere else in the world. Good luck everyone, and thank you again. Maybe I'll still be doing this in another five years, or maybe not. No matter what, I won't forget all these great memories you've given me.